Marsha Blackburn. Marsha, Marsha, you missed your big chance. You didn't ask the critical second question, the big gotcha. You didn't ask the follow-up question on Tuesday that would have blown apart the gender politics idiocy of Joe Biden's pick for the Supreme Court, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Judge Jackson is now going through Senate confirmation hearings before she takes up her incredibly powerful job. And Senator Marsha Blackburn started well in those hearings. She started very well by asking this simple question. Well, I thought it was simple. Simple question to check what kind of radical Joe Biden was actually smuggling onto the nation's highest court. Uh, can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The of the okay, so far, so good. I mean, you're, you're already thinking, is this judge crazy? She doesn't know what a woman is? Needs a biologist to tell her? I'm just wondering, you know, does she also need a biologist to tell her what a potato is? Or a cat? Or a tooth? Does she need a, a mechanic to tell her she's actually driving a car? An engineer to tell her she's using a phone? How ignorant is she really? I know, I know, you're right. Jackson's real problem isn't that she's that dumb. She's just scared. She's scared of seeming intolerant to transgender women or any man who decides to call himself a woman. She doesn't want to do that. So, you know, pretend she doesn't know what a woman is. But then Marsha Blackburn should have asked Jackson this follow-up question. Well, Judge Jackson, are you a woman? You say you don't know what a woman is, so are you a woman? Bang. Because Judge Jackson would then have only had two options. I'm, of course, excluding the possibility that she should reply, surprise, I'm really a man. No, obviously, she'd almost certainly have to admit, well, yes, I am a woman, which suggests actually that she does know what a woman is. And a previous answer was actually a lie told under oath. Under oath? Out you go. Or Jackson would have to keep up this charade, you know. I don't know, Senator Blackburn. I don't know if I'm actually a woman. I'm not a biologist. I mean, yes, I've got a husband and I've got two daughters, but I still don't know if I'm a woman. I'm so unsure. I don't even know if my daughters are women. And in that case, of course, she's not just a national laughing stock. She also then makes a fool of Joe Biden. She just blows up the whole game. You see, Joe Biden appointed Judge Jackson to the Supreme Court exactly because he thought, and without consulting a biologist, he thought Jackson really was a woman. He was convinced of it. Why did you ultimately go with her? Well, several reasons. Number one, uh, I committed two years ago that if I got elected president, I would name, if I had an opportunity, I'd name the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court. But wait, okay. So Biden has appointed Judge Jackson to the Supreme Court precisely because she's a woman. But she says, who even knows what a woman is? Ask a biologist. For all Jackson knows, without a biologist's help, everyone on the Supreme Court is a woman too, even the men. She doesn't know. Does Biden? Guess we've got to ask that biologist. You know, this is really called wanting to have it both ways. It's the madness of identity politics. You want the credit for appointing the first black woman but also the kudos for pretending not to know what a woman actually is. And now watch the woke media tie itself up in the same knots. The New York Times. It didn't have the slightest doubt that Jackson was a woman when Joe Biden appointed her. No doubt at all about that. But now it fumes at the, the mean politics of asking Jackson what a woman really is. 
But if Jackson, a nominated Supreme Court judge, doesn't know what a woman is, how can the Times be sure that Biden actually nominated one? Of course, I shouldn't be too tough on Senator Blackburn for pushing even harder or not pushing even harder on Judge Jackson. I mean, we got to give her credit at least for asking, Judge, what is a woman? Because you've got no idea how that one simple question now terrifies politicians of the left. And not just in the United States. You watch the British opposition leader fumble around when he too was asked a simple biological question, one that's probably on a secondary school level exam, or was. This is him being asked about the nature of a woman on the BBC. Is it transphobic to say only women have a cervix? Well, it is uh, something that uh, shouldn't be said. So I guess really that Judge Jackson was wrong to even say ask a biologist, because as you just heard, you shouldn't even say what the biology textbooks would tell you. You know, it involves like uh, maybe a cervix. And that means the answer to this question, what is a woman, is actually, well, the best answer you can give is there is no answer. No answer that a woke judge can actually give. None at all. Because it seems that women now are just a figment of our imagination. Or at least Judge Jackson.